So now let us discuss about a structure of a C program, how uh, any basic program is written. Uh, uh, first of all a typical C program uh, follows as hash include stdio.h, all of you might knowing about this basic program uh, to print a <coughs> hello world. Now why we write hash include stdio.h? So, hash include is a preprocessor compiler directive. Now, as we discussed uh, to write any program and to convert any program we require any compiler. If we are using a C compiler then it is known as C language, if we are using a Java compiler it is known as Java. So, just you can write any program in any of the editor. Now, what do you mean by editor? like uh, you can type in uh, notepad, you can type in wordpad, you can use word, microsoft word or anything that is just called an editor. You can write your program in that then you have to save it and you have, you have to compile it right and after successful compilation your program will be able to execute and you will show the desired output. So, just this is a program to printing a hello world. Now, why we required compiler just our program will be written in any editor after that uh, if it is successfully written then it will be successfully compiled right. So, without any compiler it is not able to be converted uh, so, turbo c is just a standard IDE to write any C program. So, just you can compile run and debug the same program in the same editor that is why just we are using turbo c or border NC to write any particular C program right. So, uh, first of all we need to use any standard input output why we required it just now I am speaking right and you are listening that is a communication we are able to communicate because of many mediums like air and everything. So, same way we want to communicate with computer because we want to make a program for that just we need to communicate with a computer system. So, how we will communicate? You have ears and I have mouth, so I can speak and you can listen, but what about computer? I cannot speak near to the CPU and I can tell him that just calculate these two areas and calculate this and that. So, it is not possible, right? So, that is why what we required is we can give input to the computer using input devices and it will show the desired output on the output devices. So, same as we are communicating right now as uh, same way uh, to with the computer we can communicate using input output devices those are called standard input output that is about a medium. Now, where we will give these inputs and outputs as simple just you all of you have used this uh, simple calculator right. So, what is the calculator? It is just a simple program of KLC uh, there are some basic functions addition multiplication, division and subtraction all the four functions are called modules. C is a modularized language we just combine all the modules together and we make a program right. So, uh, for making a KLC we are just making four functions and if uh, we are migrating it into the chip and we are making it circuitry then it is called KLC and we require one LCD or one display panel uh, at on the which we are giving some inputs 3 plus 5 and equals to. So, it will show the output printf a plus b same way right. So, uh, that panel is being used to give and display input outputs right. So, that is called a console panel uh, for particular uh, task we need a dedicated console to perform that particular task same way to perform or to uh, show the output and uh, to give some inputs in a C program we required C console that is called a console. So, we are uh, uh, if we are using a console then we need to add conio.h file that is called <coughs> console input output file right. So, these are the basic requirements standard input output and console input output standard input output as we discussed that uh, to communicate with the computer system we required some input and output devices which are the input devices a keyboard mouse etcetera right scanner and output device are 
your LCD, your monitor, right? Uh, your printer is also output device, right? So using input and output device, you can communicate. And on the which panel you will communicate? You will communicate on the console screen, right? So there are some uh, extensions of the files related with the C program. Uh, what is file extension? You might know about that MP3 file. What is that? MPG audio layer three. Then exe file, executable file. Then doc file for document file of Word or docx. Then uh, txt file, PDF file. All these are file extensions uh, which are uh, supporting particular software or particular kind of file inside that. So most of the softwares uh, you may have observed that if you are uh, setting up any software, you are installing it setup file dot exe. So what is that exe? That is called executable file. So at the end uh, in the Windows platform, uh, if you are uh, making any software, it will be generated in the exe file. That is uh, user can use it anywhere and execute it, right? So after making any program, it will be converted in the exe, right? So, if we are making this simple program, uh, include stdio.h that is called standard input output, uh, printf that is called standard output. Remember like what printer does, printer gives you output, same way print function that is called output function. What scanner does, you can give any uh, image to the computer using scanner that is called input device. So, same way you are using scan function that is called input function. You should know very well about this input output functions as you will use it lots of time, right? So, printf and then the in the double quote hello world slash n that is called scap sequence new line and it will print the hello world at the end get ch which is uh, taking input without any echo. So, just you are able to see the output on console screen, right? So, what about hash include? That is called preprocessor compiler directive. As we discussed that in any program, we require basic compiler and now the another thing is about file extensions. Let us discuss about file extensions which are used in C language. One is dot C, that is your source program. Same way you are making any PPT, you are giving its uh, extension as PPT, right? If you are uh, making any Excel file, then it is XLS. Same way, if you are making any program in C, then you have to save it as a dot C. You can type it in the word, you just you can write the same program and you can save it as dot C and after that you can compile it using C compiler, right? Uh, then another file which is related is after compilation, it will be converted in the object file that is called dot obj, right? And after that, if it is successfully linked uh, with your libraries like stdio.h and conio.h, then uh, it will be converted into the exe file that is called executable. Uh, it would be most probably in uh, binaries in C, right? So, then you can uh, execute it anywhere, right? On one more file extension is dot h, what it contains? It is called header file, not hidden file, header file, h e a d e r. What is, uh, what it means? Uh, header file just contains headers of all the functions which are used in your program. So, uh, it may be uh, inbuilt header file or it may be user defined header file you can make your own header file, right? And there are many inbuilt header files available like if you, uh, th that is prerequisite, uh, you have to use input and output functions, right? Like printf and scanf. But what about printf and scanf? It is already coded how it works. That is stored in stdio.h. So, it is header. Headers mean heading. You will know about it in later in the user defined functions, what header means. It contains the name of function, printf that is a print function, scanf it is also scan function, main itself is a function. Wherever you are seeing these uh, brackets, it is usually a function in C, right? Function that separates a code, like if you are making a calc, then we can make four functions, modules, add, multiplication, subtraction, division. 
those are called functions which can be reused again and again you can use it that is why the modularized concept is introduced ok. So, header file contains all the headers of uh, the uh, say standard input output. So, it will contains headers of all the standard input output functions. Same way if you are using conio dot h c o n i o that is called console input output as you are giving input on the console and you are showing the same on the console. So, it is called console input output right. So, conio dot h will contain uh, headers of CLR SCR. What is CLR SCR? That is clear screen. It will clear your console screen, not your desktop, right? So, for that uh, particular function CLR SCR, you are using conio dot h. Here in this program, we are not using CLR SCR, so I have not used conio dot h. You can omit it, right? But it is required if you are uh, seeing the output on the console, right? And uh, if you are using many match function like sin, cos, trigonometric functions or power root then you have to use math dot h file that is called math header file. It will contain all the mathematical related uh, higher functions right. Same way if you want to make any game then you have to use graphics dot h or you want to work with graphics then graphics dot h is the header file. Same way uh, c type dot h and many files available in your c library you can see it in your TC folder include or wherever uh, you have put your TC source code, right. So, any program will start with hash that is a preprocessor compiler directive, right. Now, we will discuss about the structure of a C program, uh, let us check about it. Uh, any program you are starting with hash right. So, uh, hash is called preprocessor compiler directive. Why it is required to write any program? Just it will first tell the compiler that you want to use standard input and output functions in your program right. So, hash is a preprocessor compiler directive like if you are uh, if any director is uh, uh, doing any shooting what he does first he speaks sound action camera right sound camera right what it is it is prerequisite to record any particular shot right so same way in this uh, c program basically we required input and output functions then we required console input output functions and so those are prerequisite so hash include include is a also directive then you can write stdio dot h either you can write in double quote or you can write in bracket triangular bracket right stdio standard input output dot h that is called header file same way if you want to use a console i am using this board as a console it is my console now so, hash include what is console? It is just a task panel, the black screen you are seeing after control F9 that is conio dot h console input output dot header file. So, you will able to communicate with the computer using console. After that, what we write usually if we do not want to use math dot h, you can omit these all are not compulsory but header files which are going to be used in your program will should be added here otherwise you cannot use all the functions like if you want to use printf and scanf then you required stdio dot h if you are not including this file then you will show in the error that printf prototype not found same way if you are using clr scr and if you are not adding this file then it will show error clr scr not found as it is the conio dot h function right at the end uh, now after including all the files we can also use some uh, global variables and some defined directive like if we want to use pi in our program then you can include it like hash define it is also preprocessor directive before processing that is called preprocessor and suppose pi pi now you can declare it as 
pi 3.14 remember there won't be used any assignment operator here this is illegal okay never use it and you can't alter this value pi is not a variable but it is a, uh, used using defined directive so you can't change this value in your program in the main just you can use it as a value of 3.40 right so, uh, after that you can use some global variables also right after that void main now what is void main as this bracket comes you should know that it is a function main is an inbuilt function which tells that from where to begin your program it is just your starting uh, starting point right uh, from here your actual program will start and it will be placed in between these two curly braces okay starting and ending what is void as you are knowing the general use or general meaning of void that means empty nothing it is not returning anything that's why it is called void and main is the name of function which is an inbuilt function from where your actual program is started right uh, if you are returning anything then you can use your integer here you can use any data type which is the last statement in your function you will study it in the user defined function right so after void main you can write your program now one more thing is you can't use more than one main function in a same program it is illegal okay so now suppose we want to clear the screen then what we use clr scr what it means clears your screen that is uh, if any previous output is already there in your console then it will be removed using clr scr it will clear your screen from top left to bottom right okay after that i want to print something and print f now usually double quote is used to print or for giving any string for dealing with a string we are usually putting double quotes in any program same way to use any particular character we are using a simple character like a or any digit it's called single character and for an integer it is without quote like one or any number or any float like 15.3 it's without quote so in double quote so you should consider string single quote a character and without quote 